Alright guys, so another topic that I think affects everyone at one point or another in their life, and this is Having absolutely no appetite at one point like you just don't want to eat anything you may even be kind of grossed out with food um, and this happens to all of us I used to love food um, every day eat what's what am I gonna eat what am I gonna eat I would finish my plate like that everyone would laugh at me even his family because I would finish before him um, I just loved food and he did too because I used to get an appetite watching him eat some people eat really like damn you're making that look good I want some too so he used to give me an appetite too but something happened and he just we started learning more about food and like hormones and all the crap that they put in them and it started to like turn us away from food more him than me and then I would see him like brush things aside on his plate and I would be like you're crazy it's good whatever and then eventually like I think that got to me and I was like well, why aren't you eating that maybe I shouldn't eat that either and then it escalated and got really bad to the point where I would eat I would only enjoy the first meal of my day and then everything else was forcedly fed I didn't really care for it um, and then I have days where it's like I have an appetite I can eat more if I had the calories to do so but I don't <laughs> and those are great days but then I have days where it's just like I don't want to eat anything it sucks to suffer with this in general but can you just imagine this happening during a bulk when you're already trying to eat a surplus of calories granted I always reach my calories I always force fed myself it was not easy um, people will tell you bulking is easy you get to eat more well when you don't want to eat more it's not easy when your belly feels like it's gonna pop it's not easy so what do you do in this circumstance for people who absolutely do not want to touch their food a couple things I've learned along the way uh, a big one if you're eating with someone refrain from looking at them do not look at them we've already decided if we don't like a food we won't express it we'll just slow down eating pick at things but just don't look at each other because it influences you yes. you see somebody putting something aside you're kind of like hmm why are you doing that you know yes, I don't want to eat the opposite what do you mean unless yeah. they do the opposite yeah. unless they do the opposite but you don't know if they're gonna do it or not like they're eating with like oh my god this is the best if you do kind of see them then just keep watching them and eat with them um, but we've we decided to share not share when we don't like something so that the other one doesn't get grossed out because like he'll be eating something and then he'll be like I don't know the beans in this is weird and I'm like oh great I ain't eating <laughs> push it aside and then yeah, eventually we learn it. keep it keep it to yourself don't say anything and yeah if you're enjoying it, say man this is really good in case the other person is having a hard time eating then they'll be like okay you told me it's good I'm gonna keep eating uh, I know it's silly but it does do a lot for you your mind is so powerful somebody says something is gross and you whether you're enjoying it doesn't matter you could just be like oh man I'm getting grossed out so that's that's a number one tip secondly um prioritize your first meal especially if you fast this comes in handy if you don't it's gonna be a little bit harder but like for me I'll prioritize my first meal and get as much food in as possible because I lose my appetite after that I've noticed my first meal is the easiest to eat so I'll make it a pretty big balanced meal I'll make sure to get a lot of my macros in there so that later on when I know that I have no appetite it's not so hard on me um, and then thirdly snacking snack less see here's the thing you don't have an appetite but you force yourself to eat like I don't know a cheese stick or something and what you're doing is you're slowing down that whole uh, oh. increasing your appetite waiting for you to get hungry so you never allow your body to fully get hungry and build up an appetite so then all day you're snacking on insignificant things here and there and you still got so many calories left so no snacking if you have this issue it's very important that you allow yourself to get hungry so that you will want the food uh, you'll crave the food and you can sit down and eat a full-blown meal rather than a 60 calorie cheese stick and then now a very important one food choices come in play um, and this is when you eat food that's big in volume but very low calories you don't have an appetite but you're gonna eat this big old salad um, and you're gonna down it it's gonna be like 50 to 80 calories and you're stuffed and you're done and you don't want anything after that that was not a good choice um, I'm not saying don't eat salads or don't eat your micronutrients get them in you can drink them that seems to help me the most um, it's just drinking it and you don't really feel like you ate this 
big filling thing. Um, so I, just make sure that you're you're choosing foods. And I, I think I did a, I did do a video about this: foods to eat when you lack an appetite and foods to eat when you absolutely have an appetite, but you know you're you're calorie restricted. Um, and I show you there are kind of my tricks. Like my favorite would be like to eat a, a cucumber, a full cucumber is only 60 calories. It's so filling. I do the Mexican style <laughs> with a little bit of lemon and, and chili powder and I down it and I'm so full. Um, so when you have an appetite, you want to eat things like that, salads, big volumes of food. And when you don't, you kind of want dense food that you don't have to sit there for like 30 minutes chewing because that's going to turn you away halfway through your plate. You're going to be like, I don't want to eat this anymore. Um, so food choice is very important. And why is this so important? Because there are people who will like write me and be like, Florina, I work out so much. I eat clean. I'm not getting progress what is eating clean? Are you still eating towards your goals? Are you eating enough? Are you eating too much? And that's why it's important to know how much you need to eat because it's actually a motivation. If you don't know, you know, how much you're eating and you don't have an appetite, you're going to stop eating regardless of whether you reach your goals or not. But if you're tracking and it's telling you, hey, you only ate half your calories, you're going to be like, I'm motivated to continue eating even though I don't want to eat, but I'm going to force feed myself because I need to reach my goals. If I want the body I want, I got to eat towards my goals, I will reach them. But not knowing that, not a, not like just feeling full and being like I ate enough it doesn't matter if it was only 800 calories I feel fine you're not gonna reach your goals because you're severely under eating you're not gonna make the gains you want to make you're not you're not fueling your body properly so these are the little tips that have helped us hopefully they help you guys too um, I just try to speak from experience and what I see and and what we feel is like oh, this is an issue this is something we should talk about something that we feel like everybody suffers with and I think that this is really important because a lot of people it's just human nature sometimes you're so busy that's another one if you're really a busy go 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 type of person the last thing you're thinking about is food uh, my days where I'm really busy doing emails where I can drown in emails I don't even think a little bit about food um, but if you're a little bit more on the board side or have more time on your hands like a day that it's more chill day I want the whole fridge <laughs> so you have to keep that in mind as well um, so I'm hoping these tips kind of just help you through it because I know we struggle I've already told him I, I always wish I am hungry and I, I never like the like no appetite feeling where you got to scarf food down I would prefer okay I can't eat anymore damn it but at least I had an appetite all day and I felt good eating another thing I want to put out there um, is that you guys do not have to agree with me hundred percent no one will ever agree with anyone hundred percent but you also don't have to be rude about it or very demanding or say no this is false I speak from experience and I try to always keep a very honest um, approach to everything I I do and if it works it's because it I've experienced it and it works for me and now I'm sharing it with you um, but you don't have to be that type of person that attacks all the time you know even on the last vlog the one about awkward things a lot of people were like this is not awkward why are you making it awkward because as a viewer it's easy to watch awkward things because it doesn't feel awkward you're not the one speaking about it you're not the one putting yourself out there and it's not awkward if I was in a room full of women only I can openly speak about everything, even sex, but you have to understand I'm speaking to a world where, you know, I have teenagers, really young people. There are men who watch my channel. You know, you have to be sensitive towards the fact that yes, a period is not weird, but uh, my audience is not filtered. It's not all women. So yes, it's awkward to speak about it when you're the one putting yourself out there. How many um, do you have? And I mean, think about it yourself. Can you go out there and talk about all those topics? and post it for the public to watch it, you'll notice it's a little harder. So it's not awkward for you to hear it as a woman. I understand that. It's awkward to speak of it when you're speaking to an audience more than just women. It's not always going to be an easy topic. Um, it's not something you're always going to agree with. There's something, everyone does things differently. So if you don't agree with it, it's fine, but you don't need to pick a fight about it. I don't have the time to fight with people. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you guys out with the videos. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. By the way, our Christmas party went really well. It was pretty fun. Uh, this was our little steel gift that we got. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, we do want to paint it a little bit. We don't really like the gold in it, but it was funny because Hubby stole it at the end. He was the last one. He had the last card. When you're the last one, you pretty much get a say in all the gifts of which one you want. He chose home decor. Thought it was kind of 
funny. It's <laughs> going in that wall. It's yeah, we're planning on putting it up there. I don't know what color. Probably maybe like that silver to match that table that we absolutely love and cannot find another one. We would love to find another one, but we can't. Ross, by the way. <laughs> so we're probably gonna color it like that. And yeah, good job on that one, babe. Anyways, let's go do our leg day. I gotta get that in today. All right, so for this leg day, as you guys know, it's mostly squats. I do my pelvic raises because that is just the golden workout for the booty. Um, I'm not gonna go too heavy on squats, mainly because I'm gonna focus on depth, going really, really low. And for that reason, you won't see lots of weight on it. By the way, people have been asking about the heater. I will link that for you guys. Um, I do love this heater. If it tips over, it stops. I kicked it, it stopped <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> I didn't mean to kick it though. Um, it's a really good heater. We like it a lot, so I'll link it for you guys. Anyways, starting with jump rope. No, okay. All the equipment is always linked. I keep getting asked, so I'm just gonna kind of throw that in there. All the equipment is always linked in the description of the video. Every single thing I use here. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna start with jump rope. One pound. <laughs> I have my stand there now, so I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of close. <laughs>
All right, guys, that is all. By the way, somebody asked why do I work calves? Or like, isn't it weird that you're the only one who works calves in the fitness industry? Um, and I, I don't necessarily think that's true. They either just don't show it, because it's a boring workout. Like, look at me doing calves. So they probably don't show you, but a lot of people just genetically have calves and I lack in that department. So I have to work a little bit harder for that. That's why I do them. And I've been showing you guys them because I set a goal to grow them because I neglected them on my other bulk. So that's why I show you guys my puny calves. They shall grow eventually. <laughs> By the way, pants, because you guys always ask me, this is part of the pants haul that we did not too long ago. It's a couple videos ago. I have linked all the pants there and lately I've been using all those pants. So if you guys have been wondering where my cute pants are from, head over and watch that video. Anyways, we're gonna end it here, guys. If you enjoy these vlogs, if you like what I'm doing with all these videos, all the information I'm sharing, please show your support with a thumbs up. It motivates me, you guys have been doing really awesome there, um, and also engaging on the videos. Even though I can't always respond, do know, I read your comments. If something stands out to me, I try to incorporate it into a video like I did in this video, someone had asked about that in a comment and I thought, hey, why not? We all suffer from this. Um, so for that reason, show your support, please, so I can keep going. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so and hit that bell, that bell <laughs> right by the subscribe so you're notified every time I post a video because sometimes I do it at odd hours. Last, last video was at an odd hour. So all of you who get the notification knew that I posted at like an earlier time in the day. But anyways, until next time, guys. <laughs> until next time, bye.